James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today I have a little walkthrough of the operating system of the Alienware Steam Machine. As you can see, you can adjust the colors on the front of the panels, which you can't see the panels right here, but this is how you adjust the colors. It's got a wide variety of colors. You can adjust the, the Alien symbol or the Steam symbol. You can even adjust the brightness, which you can see in a second, which is a nice touch because not everybody wants it one color. I mean, I have mine green right now. I'll probably do the blue theme because my PC and my sitting on my desk is white and blue. But it's pretty simple, easy to fix. The operating system, as you can tell, it's pretty easy to walk through. It's uh, Linux based, I believe, but it is their own, you know, their own operating system, which is pretty cool. As you can see, you can set, you know, like back there where you just saw it, you can just set your, um, you adjust your uh, resolution, you can adjust uh, screen uh, timeouts and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. You can mute, mute you know, your ambient sounds, which I, I didn't really, I just messed with it so you guys can see it. You can mute your, anything and everything you want. You can adjust your volumes for, your, you know, the movies navigation sounds which I didn't do as you can see you can still hear it clicking around you can get into your privacy settings your video dimensions your in-home streaming which pops up and clicks to your computer you know it's very simple to get through I didn't seem to have an issue uh, learning this quick you know you can get to the time zones you can see what time zones you want you know your systems it even has extra shortcuts so if you want to add shortcuts like systems monitor you know package updater um, image viewer document viewer you can add these as a shortcuts to your front of your uh, front which is pretty cool You do have the community section where you can go in and check out what other people are doing on the community. You know, like fan pages. As you can see, here's my library. There's 92 games in it. 16 are recent. You also have the web. It does have a web browser. It has Google, Twitter, you know, Facebook, YouTube, and anything else you want to search off Google, which is pretty cool. This, you know, you have your chat boxes. I will click on uh, Dragon Blogger here, which is actually Justin. You guys can see it pop up, so you can see how the chat box pops up. You can see it's split in half. And that's because of the touch pads, which is you know a nice little touch. I mean, it works well with the new uh, touch pad. All in all, it's very simple to use and walk through this operating system. It's pretty much a plug and play. Anybody can. Anybody can sit down and learn this, I'm sure. As you can see in the store, you have your, you know all your options like on the regular on your PC to go through and purchase or whatever. You you can do your wish list, your top sellers, videos, even you know games for early access and you know five and ten dollars and under. It gives you a wide variety of stuff to check out through here, which is great because this little box is mainly, you know, a hardcore little uh, computer sitting anywhere you want to hide it. I'd like to thank you for checking out the operating system walkthrough. This is James from DragonBlog.com. Keep your eyes open for the rest of the written review and some more videos. I will be posting gameplays and everything else on this. Thank you.